Hi, my name is Chrissy. I'm a proud surrogate mom. Back when I was younger, my aunt and uncle, they couldn't have kids and um, I just thought, hey, you know, it'd be great if I could help them out and carry a child for them. So I started doing my research, started looking into it. My aunt and uncle had decided that with their age, that they were, you know, kind of in that stage of their life where they are more selfish and they just decided that they didn't want to have kids anymore, that they just weren't in that place. So, but me being me, I decided that I wanted to, you know, keep pursuing it and still be a surrogate mom. Um, I have a 17 year old son, a 13 year old daughter, and nine years ago I had a surrogate son. Back in that time I was married and uh, we had decided that we didn't want to have any more kids of our own. And then at that time I decided I'm going to be a surrogate and I pursued it and it was a, it was a great moment in time. But now nine years later, which has been a really large gap in time. I've taken my time to think that, you know, after one surrogacy that my body has one more in me to give. So I'm now uh, closing the chapter and this will probably be my last journey, but you never know. So nine years ago, I picked this couple. Um, it's hard choosing a couple because you go through all these profiles and you look at all these people, all these very deserving people, all these, so it's really hard to decide what type of family or what type of people you want to carry a child for. Some of the things I looked for in an attendant parent were the fact that they were friendly people and people that I could get along with. Um, the end relationship, that's something that's very important to me. I wanted to be able to keep in touch with them and I wanted to be able to know that that child was well taken care of and, and happy because once you give birth to a child and you're not in their life, you want to know that at least that they're doing well. Um, when I gave birth to the child, I thought that maybe I might have that attachment, but throughout my pregnancy, and even before the surrogacy, you mentally prepare yourself that this child is not yours, that you are not the mother, that you are supporting the growth of, the, of a child for another family. They, we were very, um, we're friendly, we're in touch, but we're not really, really close. And I thought that that's what I wanted to have this really, really close relationship. But I discovered that as it developed into what it was, I just took a step back and let it be. I mean, just let it have, let it be what it is. And they are happy, and I get to keep in touch. But as at the same time, where you think that you're going to be best friends, that doesn't always happen. And I'm at, I'm at a really good place where I'm okay with the relationship that I have with them now. So at the end, I get a lot of questions. Were you sad? Did you miss the child or the baby? Did you did you want to keep it? And I just think, you know, you're giving a gift and you don't expect anything back. I would absolutely recommend anybody to be a surrogate if that's something that they want to do. I enjoyed being pregnant. I was a healthy pregnant woman. Um, even if you have your tubes tied or if you are, if you have five kids or if you have one kid, you can be a surrogate at any time point in time in your life just make sure that you know it's ready you're ready for it and it's a good time for you